The Narcissist New Supply. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and in this video, I'm going to address the new supply, the new source of fuel for the narcissist, the new victim. Now before I get started, I want to say if you have already discarded the narcissist or the narcissist has discarded you, personally, I don't recommend contacting the new supply. And the reason is this, more than likely, you're not going to be believed. The narcissist got there first and they have already smeared your name to this person. They've told them that you are crazy, you are bipolar, that you're just jealous, you want them back, that you're vindictive and just trying to ruin their life. The narcissist is love bombing this new supply and that poor soul is on cloud nine, thinking they have met the person of their dreams. Remember, you were once the new supply and thought the very same things that they're thinking right now. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that the new supply is rarely new. The narcissist had them on the back burner for a while before your relationship with them ended. So with that being said, here's what I would say to the narcissist's new supply. Dear new supply, I don't know you, although you think you know me, because the narcissist has told you all about me, probably how wonderful and great I was at first, and then at some point I just changed and became terrible. He's telling you how much better you are than I was, He's probably told you that he loved you and he did it very early on. He told you that he's never met anyone as wonderful as you and that you are the love of his life, his soulmate to end all soulmates. And I know this because it's what he told me. He's also told you of all the synchronicities that brought you into his life and that the two of you getting together was destiny. It was fate. It was written in the stars. He seems to be everything you could ever want in a partner, and you can't believe your good fortune. And this is because he's mirroring you and reflecting back to you everything you want to see and everything you want to hear. And you don't know this right now, but unfortunately, all that lies ahead for you is invalidation devaluation, and abuse. You see, he's with you because he has to have someone, not someone to love. He doesn't even want your love. He wants someone who will give him the attention and the admiration he craves. And this is why all of his relationships have overlapped one another, because he doesn't get rid of anyone until he secures a new source. This is his pattern. And this will never change. So he's going to tell you that all of his exes were crazy, that they used him for his money, that they cheated on him, that they tricked him or deceived him in some way, that they pretended to be someone that they're not. Keep in mind, every bad thing he tells you about his exes is something he did. Keep in mind that every bad thing he says about his exes, he will one day say about you and he'll start doing this while he is still in a relationship with you he is going to future fake you constantly he will paint a picture of how good life will be once things calm down in his life and this will never happen because the narcissist thrives on drama and his promises do not come true his interest in you has nothing to do with you personally. You have something he wants. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's status. He's lazy in relationships and he doesn't want to work that hard at locking you down. So he sees you as easy to manipulate and control. Now, if you don't have money, expect him to offer to take care of you. And this will seem like a dream, like he is a knight in shining armor, but it's a trap it will give him even more control over you. You see, he does absolutely nothing without an agenda. But of course, you can't see this right now. 
Expect to listen to him talk on and on about himself. Expect him to talk about his past, and he loves to name drop. It's one of his favorite pastimes. Expect him to interrupt you and to talk over you. Expect him to not really listen to you unless you are revealing information about yourself that he can use against you later. And trust that day will come, although you don't believe that right now since you're under his spell. You're unknowingly caught in his web of deception. You see, he excels at playing the victim, so he's told you stories about how awful his exes were in order to pull on your heartstrings and gain sympathy from you. He's counting on you to overlook a lot and to tolerate a lot, and you will, because you're trying to save him emotionally from his wounded past and his horrible exes. And you will fail at this. He will talk about me and all of his exes a lot. He will compare you to us. He will try to make you jealous or insecure. And he will revise history, painting himself to be the hero or the victim in every scenario. You'll notice though, he will never be the villain. You will doubt that he could ever be abusive. Even if you were shown proof, you will justify it in some way, or you will believe that no matter whatever he did in the past to someone else, that it will never happen to you because you think you're more special to him and that somehow you are loved more. But also know this, he never gets off the dating sites, no matter what he tells you. And one day you'll discover that he can look you straight in the eye and lie effortlessly. He has an endless need for attention. He gets bored quickly and he's going to need new people to repeat his stories to. And you'll get to hear these same stories over and over and over. He is racist. He is sexist. He's prejudiced and he's judgmental. And in time, you'll see this. Once the honeymoon phase is over and it doesn't last long, you will spend the rest of the relationship trying to get back to the seemingly good old days. He has a temper and you will see it first directed towards others and eventually it will be directed towards you. You will never solve a conflict with him ever. Any and all relationship problems, all of them will be your fault. Everything he tells you he is, he's not. Everything he tells you he's not, he is. He has no real empathy. You probably don't believe that either because he can fake it for a while. He has no true love for you. You're just a shiny new toy right now, giving him attention, sympathy, admiration, fuel. It is and will always be all about him, period. And even though you became involved with him while he was still married, you somehow believe he will be loyal and faithful to you. He's never been loyal or faithful to anyone. You will not be treated differently. You will not be treated better. So enjoy the fairy tale you're in right now because one day you'll be living a nightmare. There's no doubt you've been warned by others, but you will choose to remain in your delusional bubble. And one day that bubble will burst and you'll wonder what happened. And all that happened is he realized he had you hooked and he removed his mask. The monster you'll now see is who he's been all along. And all I feel for you is pity. Now, if you found this content helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and tell me in the comments, what would you say to the new supply? Did you try to warn the new supply? And if you did, how did that go? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and may you all have a blessed day.